You must have heard or you must have read about amniotic membranes. Recently, much has been written, a lot of CME speakers have been talking about the therapeutic use of these membranes. These are two of my favorite. In this video, we'll talk about the use of dehydrated membranes in the management of ocular surface disease. Welcome to Dry Eye Coach. My name is Dr. Augustine Gonzalez. I'm a practicing optometrist in Richardson, Texas. And today we're going to talk about dehydrated amniotic membranes. The procedure for harvesting this tissue is actually rather simple. Amniotic membranes are from the innermost placental layer. The source of the membranes are donors undergoing plant cesarean sections. The tissue is actually harvested from these donors that are screen for communicable diseases such as HIV, syphilis, hepatitis. The placenta is then cleaned with a mixture of balanced salt solution and a combination of antibiotics. The amnion is separated from the chorium, which is the thicker layer, by dissection and fixed to a nitrocellulose backing that gives the membrane the shiny appearance. The tissue is then either dehydrated or cryopreserved at a temperature of minus 80 degrees Celsius. There's no question, and many studies have shown, that cryopreserved membranes maintain a better physical integrity and better protein retention. A big drawback of cryopreserved tissue is the need for an in-office freezer required to keep the tissue at minus 80 degrees Celsius. Although this is a common device in surgical settings and in hospital settings, this is something that's limiting in my office and something that I do not, do not want to maintain in my office. Um, in my case, the dehydrated membranes are much more convenient for most of my in-office use and something that I typically tend to favor. Amniotic membranes have a long well-established history of medical uses in surgery and wound care dating back to the 1940s. Physically, these are very thin membranes ranging in, uh, in thickness from 30 to 120 microns and they vary in structure from being single layer to double layered. Um, as a rule of thumb, the thicker the membrane, the more likely they are to have more retained collagen, more retained anti-inflammatory activity, and growth factors. Um, amniotic membranes derive their properties because they're full of cytokines and growth factors, and in such provide three important uh, uh, benefits to tissue. Number one, anti-inflammatory activity. Number two, antifibrotic activity. And number three, anti-angiogenic activity. Um, the big benefit here is that these membranes provide the essential building blocks to help me reestablish the bio-integrity of damaged corneal and conjunctival tissue. Amniotic membranes contain structural proteins, cytokines, and growth factors. The structural proteins include collagen type 1, type 4, type 5, type 7, elastin, fibronectin, and laminin. Um, chemokines are a large category of proteins that include interleukin 4 and 10 for regulating inflammatory response. Tissue inhibitory metalloproteinases um, regulate MMP9 activity, including MMP9s that we can easily nowadays test in office. Um, Growth factors are cytokine proteins responsible for cell-to-cell -cell communication and cell response. Amniotic membranes have about 13 different growth factors, including fibroblast growth factor, transforming growth factors, epidermal growth factors, and platelet-derived growth factors. Um, we know that inflammation is a hallmark of ocular surface disease. We know that long-term uncontrolled inflammation leads to delayed healing and tissue destruction, even chronic pain. We know that long-term uncontrolled inflammation decreases both ocular surface structure and function. So you're going to ask me, what's the benefit of using a membrane? Amniotic membranes allow me to reestablish the most compromised ocular surface and it often gives me the best way to begin long-term treatment. In my office, amniotic membranes help me reestablish the tissue structure to begin long-term care. Watch for more videos in the Dry Eye Coach discussing amniotic membranes as well as other subjects. I'll see you next time.